Can you imagine how the technology in these areas should be changing if our everyday gadgets change at such a pace? What then awaits us in aviation? Imperial cruisers from Star Wars? Stealth aircraft? Hypersonic aircraft? Today we will slightly open the curtain of mystery and tell you about the 6th generation fighters. In particular about its BAE Systems Tempest model. BAE Systems Tempest is a proposed fighter concept being developed as part of the Future Combat Air System program by the Tempest Consortium, of which the United Kingdom, Sweden, and Italy are members. Work on the project began in 2018, within the framework of trilateral cooperation between the mentioned countries. So, in July 2018, the UK Department of Defense published its strategy for combat aviation, it focused on the study of programs to replace the Typhoon, which is one of the most common fourth-generation multi-role fighters, and the availability of these programs. That same month, British Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson unveiled the Tempest program at the Farnborough Air Show as part of the air combat system of the future. A year later, in July 2019, Sweden and the United Kingdom signed a Memorandum of Understanding to explore ways to jointly develop technology as part of the 6th generation air combat program. Italy joined the UK and Sweden in September 2019, completing the formation of the Team Tempest Consortium. These countries signed the last treaty in December 2020. It was a tripartite Memorandum of Understanding defining the general principles of cooperation on an equal basis between the three countries. Seven new companies joined the Team Tempest Consortium in July 2020, including GE UK, GKN, Collins Aerospace, Martin Baker, Kinetic, Bombardier, and Tails. In addition to companies, the Tempest team also includes UK universities and UK SMEs. Team Tempest immediately began work on more than 60 prototypes of future combat air system technologies. More than 1,500 people worked on these prototypes at once, and the number of employees is planned to be increased by another thousand by the end of 2021. The financial position of Team Tempest had a good start. So the first investment in Tempest came from Saab in the amount of £50 million back in 2020. Most of these funds went to the opening of the Future Combat Air System Center in the UK. At the end of July 2021, the project entered the stage of final formation of the concept and assessment. In August 2021, Italy announced its intention to invest 2 billion euros in the Tempest program by 2035, starting with 20 million euros already in 2021. Investments in Team Tempest projects also account for a significant portion of government and UK spending. The United Kingdom has agreed to invest more than 2 billion pounds in the program over the next four years, according to a recent Defence Command document. The contract will include investments in digital and physical infrastructure, from which a model of the 6th generation fighter will be developed. This developed infrastructure is planned to be a kind of a digital breakthrough, thanks to which it will be possible to significantly reduce costs and emissions during the simulation and test phases, as well as save a lot of time. What is Team Tempest going to surprise us with? In the documents of the consortium, the 6th generation fighter model is described as an unmanned or manned fighter, the main function of which is to conduct combat in the air-to-air -air or air-to-surface class in a hostile environment. In this case, the fighter must have the ability to simultaneously conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and also carry out the tasks of controlling other aircraft. Let's see how the plan differs from reality, and is it different at all. The 6th generation super powerful fighter on which the Team Tempest Consortium is working is called BAE Systems Tempest. It is planned to be equipped with cutting edge technologies, in particular, futuristic cockpits using gaming technology, eye tracking technologies, and augmented reality technologies. In addition, this fighter model will be equipped with stealth technology, direct energy weapons, and hypersonic weapons. 
BAE Systems Tempest will also have an adaptive architecture suitable for a wide range of operations. With the ability to change software and hardware in accordance with the needs of a specific military mission. Other equally important features of this fighter model are considered to be an improved flight control system, increased survivability, and scalable autonomy. However, these are far from all the characteristics of this 6th generation fighter model. In addition to these features, the developers promise that BAE Systems Tempest will be able to exchange data with multiple platforms, which will provide the armed forces with the most comprehensive picture of the future combat space. Also, this model of the fighter will actively use the technology of swarming, according to the principle of movement of bees in the air. By copying this technology from wildlife, BAE Systems Tempest will control drones with its help. This ability to cooperatively engage other aircraft will allow the platforms to coordinate during an attack or military operation. The BAE Systems Tempest fighter will have an adaptive cyclic engine and a virtual cockpit that will be shown on the pilot's display, which will be mounted on his helmet. In addition, for this model of the fighter, it is planned to develop a generator that will be able to provide an unprecedented level of electricity. Also, the developers of the fighter plan to slightly raise the rear section of the fuselage to accommodate the S-shaped air ducts and the twin engine inlets to reduce its frontal radar cross-section. BAE Systems Tempest will also be equipped with futuristic radar technology, also referred to as Multifunctional Radio Frequency System. It is now being developed specifically for the Team Tempest Consortium. It is predicted that this system will be able to provide 10,000 times more data than existing systems. This will provide a significant advantage in combat situations, thanks to the ability to pre-locate and aim platforms at the enemy. The industry team involved in the development of this 6th generation fighter includes BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, MBDA, and Leonardo. In July 2020, they already presented a 3D model of the 6th generation BAE Systems Tempest fighter. The developers plan to launch this fighter into service with the British Air Force as early as 2035. According to forecasts, it should completely replace the Typhoon fighter and effectively serve the RAF for the next 60 years. BAE Systems Tempest will be the only stealth fighter outside the United States, according to the Royal Aviation Society. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? The development of technology does not stand still. Every year, if not more often, we witness active changes in the field of technology, especially in the gadgets that we use every day. Presentation of a new iPhone with more powerful characteristics than a year ago, new models of laptops, tablets, TVs, robotic vacuum cleaners. These changes are so striking that they simply can't be overlooked. They are around us, helping us every day, and making our life more comfortable. However, not all the changes in technology can be noticed. The development of super-powerful, radically new technologies is always kept secret, especially when it comes to military equipment. The plans of the Team Tempest Consortium and the model of the fighter it's developing can be called more than optimistic. Scientific and technical forecasts set a very high bar, and favorable funding conditions help in its implementation, at least at this stage. In the meantime, we can only wait for positive results from research and demonstrations of prototypes of the Team Tempest Consortium. Wait, considering that the 3D model of the BAE Systems Tempest fighter has already been successfully demonstrated, not so much waiting remains. We always keep a close eye on technology news and are the first to report on future and current technological breakthroughs. Join our channel subscribers to be the first in the cohort.